This is a problem on open belt conveyor. In this problem, it is given an open belt conveyor running over two pulleys that is having the diameter 250 millimeter and 500 millimeter. Now, first of all, I have to draw this conveyor, the smaller pulley, and this is the bigger pulley, and this is the conveyor. Now considering this diameter of this smaller pulley is D1 and the bigger pulley having the diameter D2 and this is the center of the smaller pulley and this is the center bigger pulley. Considering this uh, speed is N1 and this pulley having the speed N2. Now this part having the tension T2 and this is the T1 okay and this distance between two shaft between two pulleys is X now it is given given in this problem D1 is 250 millimeter that is 0 0.25 meter and D2, the diameter of the bigger pulley is 500 millimeter, that is 0 0.5 meter. Okay. Now the distance is given the two parallel shaft having 4 meter apart. So X is 4 meter, that is 4 meter. And the power to be transmitted is 5 kN from the smaller pulley. So, P smaller pulley having is 5 kN certain to the power 3 Newton. And the rotate at, it rotates at RPM is N1 that is 350 RPM. And the coefficient of friction between belt and pulley is mu that is 0 0.3 and the working tension is 8 Newton per millimeter width. So safe tension, tension that is working tension is 8 Newton per millimeter width, width of the belt of the belt belt now solution right first of all you have to you have to calculate the linear velocity of this driver pulley that is v1 this value is pi d1 n1 by 60 this is 3.14 into 0 0.25 into n1 that is 350 divided by 60. So this value will be 4.579 meter per second. We know we know that power equals to this T2 minus T1 into V1. So you can find this power already is given for smaller pulley is 5 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. And this equals to T2 minus T1 and this V1 is 4.579. So you can write T2 minus T1 equals to it will come 101.941. Okay. Uh, this is the equation 1. Now another we know um, now angle of lap. 
for open belt drive that is theta theta equals to 180 minus 2 alpha what is alpha alpha is value is sine inverse d2 bigger pulley minus d1 by 2x so i can find this one 0 0.5 minus 0 0.25 divided by 2 into x is 4 so this value will come sine inverse 0 0.03125 uh, this is the inverse so this 1.79 degree okay 9 degree now find this theta this theta equals to 180 minus 2 into 1.79 this value will come 176.42 so we have to convert in radian 176.42 into pi by 180 this will come 3.077 radian okay now I have to find the belt tension ratio so I can write belt tension ratio is t2 by t1 that is e to the power mu theta so here i can write t2 by t1 equals to e to the power mu value of mu is given 0 0.3 0 0.3 into theta which is 3.077 so from this i can write this value will be 2.517 okay now from the second right t2 equals to 2.517 t1 that is equation 2 so from this equation 1 and 2 i can write from 1 and 2 and write from equation 1 and 2.517 t1 this value t2 equals to 2.517 t1 minus t1 equals to 1091.941 so from this i can find this t1 equals to 719.941 802 Newton and from this using this t1 we can find this t2 t2 is 2.517 into 719.802 this value will come 1811.743 Newton okay now we have got this t1 and t2 now as it is given safe working working tension tension is 8 newton per millimeter width it is given so you can write 8 newton tension tension is applicable applicable for 1 millimeter width belt so the maximum tension is obtained that is t2 is 1811 1811 so i can write 1811.743 tension is applicable 
applicable for as 8 newton is applicable for 1 millimeter so this will be 1811.743 divided by 8 this value will be 226.467 millimeter width width okay now so i can write the b mean which is the belt width minimum belt width b minimum this value will be 226.467 millimeter is the answer now now initial belt tension we have to find initial belt tension that is t0 which is the average of two values t1 and t2 so t2 plus t1 by 2 this will come is 1811.743 plus t1 which is 719.802 divided by 2 this value will come 1265.772 newton this is the answer and we have to find the length of the belt now l is formula is pi r1 plus r2 plus 2x plus r2 which is bigger r2 minus r1 whole square by x so i can write this is pi 3.14 and r1 is given that is 0 0.125 because the diameter is given 0 0.25 so this will half so i can get 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 this is the half of this d2 plus 2 into the x is given 4 plus 0 0.25 minus 0, point, 0 0.125 divided by divided by x that is 4 and this is a whole square from this i can write this will come 1.177 plus this will be 4 into 2 that is 8 plus 0 0.00 Three nine. This value will come nine point one eight mainly a meter because all in meter.